Hi everyone and welcome. I am Sonal Yadav and in today's video I am going to be sharing a lip tutorial inspired by the holiday season. So I'm going to be sharing a matte and a glossy version of this maroon ombre lip look. The matte version of this ombre lip look is something which I carry very often as this one is my signature lip look as well and just to take it one step ahead towards the glam you can add some gloss so let's just get started okay, and so see how to do it. First things first um, I am going to create a good smooth base now in order to have that really nice plumpy looking lips it's very important to start off with some lip prep just like how you do it for the makeup you just make sure to you know exfoliate your skin clean your skin and then start off with clean face right similarly we are going to be starting off with some exfoliation now i am going to be using this lip scrub from mac cosmetics this was something which was recently sent to me in pr and i got very excited so i'm using this for the first time on the camera but you can definitely use any lip scrub that you have this is again one of those steps which you should not you know kind of miss out on because it really really makes a lot of difference when doing makeup i think you know um the smallest steps makes a lot of difference in the you know overall lip look or the overall look I mean sorry and uh, yeah I'm gonna be using this lip scrub now this is what it looks like I'll show you the outer packaging first this is what the outer packaging of it looks like and by the way I'm gonna be using all MAC products for today's video it's not a sponsored content I just simply love 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 MAC you know lip products because they really work like magic and i have so many lip products in my vanity but then again you know you use a certain thing and when you like it you crave for that sort of a finish you crave for that sort of an experience and that is the reason why i keep driving you know towards these products again and again which is why i'm using all of these products today from mac so this is the lip scrub that I'm trying for the first time and this is what it looks like. So yeah, I'm going to take a little bit of it, going to put it on my lips like that and I'm going to massage this now. It has a really good texture to it, like it's not very harsh on the lips, but at the same point of time, it's not very, you know, uh, mild as well. It is doing the job of, uh, you know, kind of exfoliating the lips. So I am liking the lip scrub yet. So now you can definitely wipe this away with the help of a wet tissue or you can clean it with a cleanser if you feel like. And yeah, I'll just do that off camera and I'll be right back lips are exfoliated and I am loving the texture of my lips because it feels so smooth like even when I do like this I can feel that my lips is feeling really nice and smoothened out and you know it gives you a really nice feeling when you are uh, working on a smooth canvas when you are doing your lip look and it really really makes a lot of difference so again to make the lips feel even more smoother for your lipstick to just glide smoothly on your lips I am going to be using one product which is a lip primer it's very optional step I will say um, if you just want to skip it off you can do that but again i would say if you want to make sure that your lipstick lasts throughout the day you can try using this product so this one is again from mac cosmetics it is their prep and prime lip primer and it is something which will you know kind of act like a primer between your lipstick and your lips in order to make it stay throughout the day and other than that also this really makes sure to you know smoothen out your lips and when you apply your lipstick it feels really nice it feels really uh, plumbed I will say for a reason having a really nice you know surface to work on and your lipstick glides smoothly it looks really nice and uh, this is something which again I would prefer using if I am going to be wearing a lipstick throughout the day and I know that I won't get chances for touch ups this is the reason why I am recommending you guys this product so this is what it looks like I am I'm gonna give you a close-up this is what it looks like this is the Mac prep and prime lip primer and this is in a matte finish so you do not have to even worry about it giving you a glossy finish or anything like that so just going to you know apply this in order to get that smooth nice canvas you guys this makes a lot of difference i think pack cosmetics is also having a lip primer you can try that one out as well just in case if you want options mm, this is too good i would highly recommend this because again 
when I press my lips together, I can feel the smoothness. I can feel that my lips are just ready for some good lipstick. And now we are going to be moving ahead towards another step, which is again, I think very, very, very important. A lot of people tend to skip it and they think that it's not necessary. Now, whenever I am applying lipsticks, it's very, very important for me for having a nice, precisely lined lip, which is why you need to use a lip liner or a liquid lipstick as a lip liner you can use it you know you can use both of the things but it's very very important to line your lips using something because if you don't uh, your lipstick is not going to last for that long it's not going to look that precise and it's not going to give you that sort of a finish that it should be giving and um, कहीं ना कहीं ना ऐसे लगता है आपको कि थोड़ा सा फिनिशिंग नहीं है लिप लुक में आपके सो आई वुड हाईली रेकमेंड यूजिंग अ लिप लाइनर इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ लिक्विड लिपस्टिक दैट इज व्हेन यू कैन स्किप अ लिप लाइनर बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग अ क्रीम फॉर लिपस्टिक डेफिनेटली गो अहेड विद अ लिप लाइनर इट्स वेरी वेरी असेंशियल इट रियली मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस एंड आई एल शो यू एग्जैक्टली वाई सो आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अ लिक्विड लिपस्टिक एज अ लिप लाइनर टूडे एंड बिकॉज वी आर डूइंग अ मरून ऑम्ब्रे लिप लुक आई एम गोइंग शो यू this lipstick right here this is again from mac cosmetics it's one of my favorite 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 shades it is in the shade carnivorous now this range from mac is so good it's the retro matte liquid lipstick range and it's one of the most comfortable matte liquid lipsticks that i've ever tried not even exaggerating it's too good the formula is so nice now to use this thing as a lip liner i am going to be using a brush like so you can take any angled brush this is one of the brushes that i have uh, you know got from pack x jovita kit it is so good this product right here i mean this brush right here is a life savior for me i use it for my you know winged liners i use it for my brows it will legit give you hair like strokes that is how precise this one is and i just can't afford to lose this one it comes in a set only it does not you know comes individually so if i lose it i will have to buy like the whole set of it and i really love how this performs so i'm going to use this as my lip brush today and then I use the carnivorous lipstick this is what it looks like just to give you guys a little bit of you know visual of how exactly the color looks like i am just going to take very teeny tiny bit of it initially so just taking the brush and going to take some product okay so yeah just going to take some product on my brush like that so i'm going to start off with this cross portion area of the lips which is called as the cupid's bow and i am just going to you know kind of line a little bit right here and here again i'm going to follow just the natural shape of my lips and then i like to drag the liquid lipstick a little bit inside like this and when you do this what happens is that later on when you are applying the lighter shade of lipstick because we are creating a ombre lip look so when you apply the lighter shade of lipstick underneath like in the in the inside of your lips it's going to give you a gradient shift to the color like you know light to dark aapko dikhai dega hota hua to thodi si shading jaisa ho jata hai ye so just try to do this and it really makes a lot of difference now moving ahead towards the lower lip part i am just going to follow the natural uh, you know shape of my lips up till here and here and only this bit i'm going to overline so yeah so the lips right now are lined and you guys can see it makes a lot of difference when you kind of line your lips because you get this preciseness you know you get a better shape to your lips you get a better structure to it and it really makes a lot of difference in the head towards the next lipstick to create the ombre lip look i usually like to stick to my ruby boo it looks amazing i love the combination of the carnivorous and the ruby boo together but if you want to go for a cream lipstick you can go for ruby woo if you want to go for a liquid version of the same shade you can go for this 
shade called as ruby few it's a very similar kind of a shade but just a little bit you know change in undertone so this is a little bit more cooler uh, than ruby woo and it's a liquid lipstick which is the reason why i really like it because again it's going to last for a really long period of time so i am going to be going ahead with this um, right in the center first let me just quickly show you this is what it looks like it's a very beautiful bright shade of red and i'm just going to you know put this in the center just like that and you can see it looks so pretty i'm going to use my finger and i'm just going to blend this Now I'm going to just go ahead and kind of fix the shape of it a little bit conceal a few things a little bit just in case if you require this again this is something optional you do not always have to do it if you think you have made any mistakes you can definitely go ahead with the concealer taking that same brush I've just cleansed it and I am going to be using a concealer taking some of it on the back of my hand just very tiny bit of it you guys can see and uh, I'm just going to dip my brush in to it So yeah guys this is how the matte version of our ombre lip look looks like this lip look right here is enough in its own self to create a statement as it gathers so much of attention on the lips which is exactly the reason why it is my signature lip look so yeah guys this in its own self is a look and you can definitely stop right here so basically this is like a matte version of the ombre lip look that we are creating so same look ko thoda sa aur zyada glamorous banana hai you can go ahead and apply a lip gloss right on top of this so this is the mac clear lip glass they call it lip glass and it is so beautiful you guys you just need like a teeny tiny drop of it to cover the whole of your lips and it's going to give you the most stunning you know glossy lip look ever to be very honest jab tak maine ye product use nahi kiya tha uske pehle i used to not be that much of a glossy you know lip person but ever since that i've gotten this in my life i am just loving to create so many glossy lip looks and uh, bahut sundar dikhta hai yaar so definitely give it a try so just going to take this much of the quantity okay what the lip gloss looks like and it looks so stunning i absolutely love how beautiful this looks on the lips and it's not sticky it's not heavy on the lips also at the same point of time it gives you that high shine beautiful glamorous looking you know lip look and i just love this on my lips it feels so nice and hydrating and not heavy and uh, really beautiful okay so you guys need to definitely try it out if you are into you know glosses do try this one out with that we come towards the end of today's video i hope you guys liked watching this one and found it helpful if you did please make sure to subscribe to my channel share this video with your other makeup lover friends and yeah guys i'll be meeting you in my next one until then please take care bye